Hello everyone! Thank you for watching Shadow Toys Photography. In this video, we're taking an in-depth look at the Mezco Toys <laughs> Hawk P40. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is he in pieces? Well, there's a reason for that. And that reason is, I had to. Well, uh, he had a little arm issue here with his right shoulder just a little stick issue i had to take the uh hair dryer heat up method and uh use it on there and it's all better now all fixed uh he's a fabulous figure as you can see it's got the butterfly joint in there i don't usually have that kind of issue with mezco but i figured being that i got him all uh undone like this it would be a great opportunity to make some kind of a custom out of him maybe while we do this review so uh first let me go over everything that's going on with him um let's start with the head sculpt if you see that there after the uh famous world war ii fighter jet airplane this is base concept I know if you've seen any kind of American military aviation, I know you've seen these teeth on um, some kind of aircraft. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is just, uh, I don't even have words, you know, this is just uh, out of this world, great. Um, you know, they did a great job, original a character, you know what I mean? Like just wow you know out of the box that's what i was looking looking uh, the word i was looking for out of the box very out of the box very mezco i like how he's got the looks like the nostrils there but yeah cool he's got ports in the back you pop the uh wire stuff in and it connects to his uh gatling gun which i'll show you what was it this side it's like each one is there you go specific for each one and as you can see being that we got him uh dissected here this is the uh neck joint yeah it pops right in there and then it would go on there like that pretty much so you, you get kind of get the idea on how he would look so you're not too robbed i did flip his belt around i don't know kind of feels like a, a wind up uh thing for him i don't know <laughs> just messing around with this figure uh He's very interesting, very cool. But yeah, so we'll work our way down. Then we got the neck neck peg in there. And this is a little loose. Like everything kind of came loose when uh, I heated him up, obviously. And it's just a little sticking in there. So just be careful with your figures, of course. You know, articulation on him is just magnificent. The sculpt is just out of this world. I mean, great job with these arms, man. Look at that. Wow. We really need a cyborg. <laughs> I know, we've been uh, singing that tune next to uh, a Robin, and they finally gave us Robin, but we need a cyborg. It doesn't even have to be a Justice League cyborg, you know what I mean? Just uh, a DC cyborg. You know, they can't do guns. I feel like he's a little loophole. Can they do robotic arm cannons? I feel like they can. I mean, come on. But, uh, yeah, if you notice... Hey, let's uh, pull this to the side. Underneath is silver, like a colossus. I don't have no idea what these <laughs> holes are for on his chest. Kind of looks like he's got some high-rising nipples or something there. They're kind of staring at you, <laughs> but uh, on his pecs. But uh, yeah, um, very interesting. I mean, it goes all the way around. You can see it on his back. Great sculpt. Great sculpt in there. It's like, what what are you doing with this, Mezco? What's uh, what's going on here? Um, this, I believe, is a, a one piece. I try to pull this down and yank this around, but I think this is kind of like a jumpsuit kind of thing, you know, where it goes around the crotch area and around the back to kind of hold it in place, which is fine. You know, it's just kind of, like I said, let's see what else we can do. I flipped this belt around. It's got the uh, wrench here. It's perfectly, he's kind of like a <laughs> robot gone mad without a head. Oh, well, it kind of looks like two little eyes maybe there and a little mouth. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, see, I'm uh, having a bit of fun with him. Let's go over more articulation. These arms can really swing in like, 
like he's praying, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. He's got the, uh, ab crunch, um, not abs, the, uh, diaphragm, I guess, under the chest there. Moves great. And then he's got the ab down there. So you get a great bend. Fantastic bend. And you can see, you know, customizer. Hope you're, uh, those customizers out there watching. Hope your mind is, uh, the gears are turning right now. You're getting ideas. I'll show you what heads do fit on here, what kind. I tried a regular head sculpt. I was thinking, oh, I could put um, Green Lantern, John Stewart, the bald head version on here and get Jax for Mortal Kombat, but it sat way too high. And you can kind of see if I push that down in there. It's, it's just a little high. I mean, that's the character design with the neck peg, but I don't know if you like customizing them. You can, uh, the legs move up fine. You can do something uh, really special with this guy. I don't know. I'm really excited to see what uh, we all come up with. He's got his good McGregor. Does it really well. That's my um, Van Dam. You know, with the leg splits. Someone invented. But, yeah. Knees work great. Uh, I can't get the boot to swivel out a little bit. Working pockets. I shoved his, uh, comes with three grenades. I got two in here and one in here. Take a look at that real quick. Stay. Okay. Really nicely painted. I believe it's the same one as the Harley Quinn. Um, shoot, I should have pulled those out and compared, but whoops, and there it goes. <laughs> I found it. But yeah, great sculpt, great paint. I love the gold on silver there. Ping. And it fits right in his pocket. Well, Frodo, the grenade is still in your pocket. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's move on here. Let's see. Uh, we did the body. He did articulation. Oh, let's uh, let's look at his head sculpts. He looked at the uh, the P41. We got the, oh, here's some dog tags he comes with. Now this is, uh, I don't know if this is going to show up. Maybe. I can't believe I was able to kind of read it, but uh, they say stuff. Come on. My big fingers is too small. Okay. See that? Maybe pause it before it gets out of focus or something, but it looks like Brian Randolph. Oh man, I can't read what's underneath that. Can anyone read that? Please let me know if you could see what it says under Brian. Oh my gosh, I'm using full eye focusing power. I can't read it. Um, skull on the back, and the other one says the exact same thing. Just so you know, I'm not a liar. Brian Randolph. And the tiniest writing. I can't read that at all. <laughs> Man, who'd like get to write on that? The Keebler Elves? Goodness, I can't read that at all. It's too tiny, too tiny. Next head sculpt is, I think, everyone's low-key favorite. Uh, the tank head. I mean, look at that expression. Rawr! I mean, you kind of get an idea. I mean, it's just this thing's a beast. Ah, 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 ah. Man, oh man! And these spin. These little. I can't get them to. Oh, you saw it. Yeah, there we go. Against each other, like, uh, like a grinder in there. <laughs> you could put the effects in his nose. He's got the little, there you go. New effect piece, which is awesome. Yes. And it's got the little, same little Mezco node there, I guess you could say. So it'll fit in uh, any gun, any Mezco gun that uh, has that. It's like a tank. Boom. 
doesn't fit in any of the rocket launchers, unfortunately, but uh, they really need a rocket effect for the rocket launcher I'm going to show you. They have one for the Harley Quinn, and the, I think the Two-Face comes with one as well. That's cool. And then it comes with a little radio transceiver, <laughs> receiver transmission, I don't know, device. You could pop that in the back there. Kind of looks like a tank. Cool. And also, one of his hands, I'll show, I might as well go in the hands next. But. Now, it was holding it. There we go. Maybe like a, uh, a detonator. Boop. Yeah, there we go. So he's got uh, the two open hands there to hold weapons, his wrench. He's got these two kind of uh, gripping palm. His fingers remind me of Ninja Turtle fingers. Like, what was it? Fujitoid, Fujitoid, or um, Metalhead. Definitely give me... Uh, yeah, metalhead Ninja Turtle vibes. Be it gripping, grabbing. Rah! Hands, manos. Here's the kind of open palm. Hey, how are you? Backhand. Anything you wanna? No. Scared hands. The detail, the sculpt. The little paint on the look how clean that is. It's boop boop boop. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And finally, the fisty cuffs. Two fists. Perfect. Again. And they swap out. Easy. As like normal. You know the deal. Here's the knife, combat knife. Same issue that came with uh, Cable. They're, I think both their Cable figures. And it fits in this way. I gotta, I must confess, I'm a little disappointed. It doesn't really hold the opposite way. And that's the, yeah. Uh, where'd it go? Okay, over here. That's the kind of, you know, he's a military guy. I mean, you could hold it the opposite way, I guess. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, you know what? Shut me up. I take that back. He can't hold it. It's like the military. Well, I was going to be disappointed if he couldn't, because uh, he's got, you know, military pants on. He's got to get the uh, military-style uh, stabby-stab pose. I mean, come on. But, yes, he can do that as well. i got to strain him up here. Oh, if you want to see his back and his belt. A little uh, turbine there. Propeller. Here's the uh, his jacket, which I had to pop off, obviously, to get to the arm there. But yeah, it comes uh, when you put him in the pack, when you open him up from the package, it's zipped up uh, about halfway. So it is a working zipper. Let's see if this comes through back here. Lady Luck. I hope they make her. That'd be cool. Robot body. I don't know about that chest piece, though. <laughs> May raise some eyebrows. Um, again, it comes with another set of, uh, of wires to go in the Gatling gun. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? This thing is like straight out of Doom. <laughs> like a Doom minigun. It uh, hold off hordes of hell demons and of course yes this fits in there but it comes with yet another new blast effect thank you mezco keep them coming and there's like eight holes around there it could fit in anyone 
do 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 like geez louise anyone playing that new aliens game like <laughs> or when the alien comes out yes finally went for pre-order i'm so happy thank you mezco i know i'm going off on a tangent but this is definitely gonna ruin some xeno's day oh man but excellent excellent beautiful and this uh pops out and they give you another one grab it quick quick and uh slap it in hard and you're ready to rock and roll <laughs> so uh yeah and this moves the uh to go around his arm it is a little heavy for him though it could be mine because uh i loosened him up actually again this figure <laughs> i did play with him before this review and uh you know, it was behaving a certain way. So it's like, okay, let me uh, take note of that. And now when uh, I'm actually filming, he's uh, <laughs> like, no, I can't do this. I can't hold it like this. So, yeah, and uh, let me try and balance him. Boom. Do, 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 do. Wow. A Terminator, maybe. From the future. Who knows? But yes, that's... Uh, that's excellent. And it comes with one more blast effect. Just one we've uh, gotten. But I like uh, this color better. Let me... Oh, darn, where did I put that? Is this it right here? Let me grab it. Like a Jenga piece. Here's the original. So yeah, I definitely... I prefer this. I like uh, this color better. I think looks a little bit more realistic gunfire and it catches the light way easier because it's more uh, translucent but this one ain't bad i like this one i like the variety of it you know you got a bunch of people shooting you know like that end scene in the crow almost it's like, doo -doo -doo -doo. you want different fire effects to seem like a different caliber of weapons guns are actually firing and here's uh well we got the bag the stand, of course, he comes with a stand. Uh, it's not here. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Well, he comes with a stand. It's pretty cool. Shows. Uh, actually, it's a stand. Let me grab his box real quick. Move him out. That's the box. But I gotta show off this art. Oh, I may not. It might be too big. Yeah. Well, it comes with this cool art piece and you just pop it out and behind it's all the uh, the tray. But yeah, and basically the, um, I'm not gonna go pull it out right now, but the, uh, the stand is the same picture, but very nice, very nice stand. But I prefer using the black stands that Mezco has uh, actually on their site right now for, for order. I don't know, I just prefer them. I had a, I talked about this in another video, but um, here's the rocket launcher that he comes with. Let's get him back in here which is excellent it's only a bit concerning that uh his hands it's a little big so it's gonna really stretch him out you know but he can hold it uh, i guess i'll do it real quick but this is gonna be his knife holding hand i'm just concerned if i stretch it out then he won't be able to hold his knife but you get the idea we really need an effect for uh this rocket i really wish the uh Harley Quinn one, or like I said, the Two-Face one, or any of the ones they have out, would uh, work with this. Man, I can't, I can't hold on to anything. But yeah, I like the paint on this, the wash. Looks like it's been used a couple times in battle, but he keeps it clean, oiled, slicked, and good to go. All right, let's, um, all right, I popped one head sculpt. It's the generic one. It's the Netflix Punisher can see it's gonna fit on there perfect so it does come with a neck adapter by the way it fits in here obviously but pop that out and it fits these joker body heads and yeah, I did pop a Joker head on here, and it was giving me a Joker bot, which was pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I'm just kind of racking my brain on who else can fit on him. But Punisher, 
looks pretty good. I mean, Frank's ready for business. So let me clear some accessories out here for some comparisons. Let him get in the day. All right, let's get him in the nice, static, attention, pose there. Excellent. All right, let's bring in, um, <laughs> let's bring in the Mezco Vapor. I know it's going to be off a little bit because we changed the heads on him, but uh, if you get the idea, it's almost the same height. So yeah, you're not getting an accurate size comparison, but you should go by the shoulders anyway. And so he's a little taller. I mean, he looks the same, but only because he's got that bubble vest. Here's Aquaman. Comic book version all kinged out. So yeah, um, not as bad as it looks on camera, but Aquaman is taller. He is bigger. He looks huge on camera. Like I keep looking back and forth and it's just like, whoa. All right, speaking of huge, let's bring in my custom cloth Casey Jones by NECA. Who isn't gonna stand? But yeah, he's pretty big. Pretty big. Oh, oh Casey. All right, let's bring out the Aquaman. And let's do, um, hmm. Let me look around a little bit. I don't know where that figure go. All right, let's bring in, I guess, little figure arts. That Boruto's so hot right now. So I might as well, uh, for comparisons, who knows? Fight robot something <laughs> in the ninja world. And let's bring in my custom Best Lee Studios, Toby Obido. I call it Tobido. Because, <laughs> well, if you look at the name, it's a. Uh, it's in there. Anyways, um, yeah, so they're a little shorter because they're uh, figure arts, but not a big dealio. Here comes Figure Arts Huis from the um, new exclusive e -E Bandai exclusive. I can't keep track. Yeah, it's a Bandai exclusive Huis with the Goku food set bowl of ramen and here's of course Virus same exclusive Bandai Damashi Nations figure arts you know Virus is a little he doesn't really care but uh anyways yeah not too bad not too bad I feel like I had a lot more figures for comparisons and I can't find them right now let me uh oh you know what i got gaslight joker back here I'll pop him in gassy and uh yeah uh okay one more and the star lord on the commander gomez body marvel legends Oh, that's a little shorter. It's basically the Black Skull Death Brigade body. I get the idea. So not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, actually, there's one more thing that uh, he comes with. The Hawk P40, Mr. Hawk. That uh, I forgot to mention. If you want, sit tight for a little uh, story time. Because he comes with the comic. Hawk P40. And I know a lot of other channels just flip through it or don't want to spoil, but we're going to do it right now. The Fighting Daredevil of Tomorrow's War, Hawk P40, a thrilling publication. Only 10 cents, yeah, it didn't cost 10 cents, that's a joke. You're funny, Mezco. Buy Mezco bonds and stamps for victory. Mission X, death from above. Great art. Love it. He looks boss sauce on the cover there. 
Ooh, Atticus Doom coming soon. Well, I hope not too soon because I have like, huh, <laughs> two dozen Mezcos pre-ordered right now for going in the next year. And uh, I understand what's going on, but that's a lot of pre-orders. I like to have some figures come in. I mean, hey, <laughs> but uh, I just got the notification for uh, Musquatch and... Uh, Red Death will be coming, and New York Comic Con's around the corner. I don't think Mezco's going, which is a bummer, but anyways, get the uh, Atticus and Occult Private Eye tethered to the Necroverse by his left hand. Ugh. Oh, it's like a... Is that gonna be like a skull hand? That's cool. He's giving me very... Uh, you ever see that movie Big with uh, Tom Hanks, the uh, fortune teller? <laughs> Rumble Society Perfect. Presents Mission X Death from Above. Foosh, zoom, kum, kum, whoosh. All related characters represented within our trademark of this game. Looks like a cool airship. Boom, boom, boom. Acquiring target. Target locked. Blam, blam, blam. Ah. Hustle, hustle. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, well, actually, a copyright. <laughs> hey, swoosh. There we go. Running on rockets. Oh, here's the buying page. Oh, uh, this, uh, I think, was released. The skull's already gone <laughs> to wait list. Uh, the coins. Those, those stands I've been talking about. Don't sleep on those. They're pretty good. I mean... It depends on how you display. If you're a displayer and you like displaying on your the stands they come with, then fine. Obviously, these aren't for you. But if you like, you know, playing around, photography, hiding them a little better, I suggest you get these. There's a shirt. So it's out of stuff. I, I don't know. <laughs> Attack of the Supersize Wax Packs. Skulls. Rumble Society T-shirt. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Where? <laughs> Sorry, man. It's going to beat me up a little bit on this. I apologize. <laughs> Rumble, knuckle up, and buckle up. Well, there you go. Where you want the best, go see Slugfest. <laughs> Clever girl. Continuing on. Whoosh. Clunk. Lost visual of target. Crash. Visual of target reacquired. Man, can I get this little weird guy? Definitely giving me Matrix. Going off on a tangent again, but you see the Matrix 4 trailer? Of course you did, because you're not living under a rock. But oh man, hyped for that. Hope it's good. Hope it's good. Catching the fiance up on, uh, on all of them and... Uh, they're holding up okay. Definitely needs a new movie. Um, anyways. Crash. Walk, walk, walk. Clang. Who's that? Uh -huh. It's clobbering time. Crackoom. Boom. <sighs> Editor Ms. Markowitz's story. John Santagaga. Got a cover art. Joel. Coat jar, interior art, Michael Oppenheimer, cover and interior colors, Jean Galado, layout, Dario B. Dominguez, Hawk P40, character created by Brian Randolph. Ah, Brian, there you are. It probably says Hawk P40, character created by on the dog tags, but that makes sense. There you are, Brian, gotcha. Knew those dog tags weren't just for nothing. Have fun. It's like magic. Amazing. Thrilling. Jump into the junk heap with this official Slugfest helmet. Scare your neighbor's dog. Wow, your friends. Big, big bot on campus. Another fake out from Mezco. For your, uh, from your friends at Mezco. I believe this one is real. Well, we have a bridge to sell ya. On the back is, ooh, this is cool. $1.98, or is that like 198 
<laughs> Quick Soldier, 100 piece set. Yeah, imagine. Very G.I. Joe. That would be ridiculous. But I wouldn't mind a Foot Locker with some, I don't know, more gear. I, I don't know. I was like, is that a red, Craig? Yes, we, we have the red. Why? We need yellow. Looking pretty cool. They're all, oh, not all of them are lefties. Weird ships and tanks. I wish. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the story. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this figure. Uh, I admit, more than I thought I would. It's a cool custom head swap was a nice surprise. And again, I cannot wait to see what you all come up with. Please let me know uh, if you think of any cool Mez heads that would fit on him. Um, as always, I want to take a minute to thank you uh, for watching, and especially to those who have subscribed. I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Kevin, Woodstock, Gamer, Jorley, Ruben, Webbs, Bigfoot, Jeffrey, Zan, Carlos, and Saeed. And to anyone that I have, may, have, may have missed, you have my uh, s sincerest apologies. Sometimes I just don't get a notification and you know just uh i just have trouble like kind of finding you but i promise to get that fixed as soon as possible so bear with me until next time see ya bye